Merry Christmas, YouTube. I thought it only appropriate that of the day when people are exchanging gifts, I talk about some bargains that I picked up over the last few weeks. Um, I've been carousing thrift shops and uh, antique stores and consignment stores on my uh, time off. So, we have a number of things to show off and an interesting collection, if I may say so. First thing we have are those two black plastic magazine um, racks. I use them uh, to hold uh, games. In fact, I have a I had one way up there on the top shelf, which is a white one, and I'll be putting the two others up there after I get that shelf cleaned up. We have some articles of clothing. I got my wife a hat because I thought she would like the uh, colors, and it's uh, Murano, um, uh, from, um, yeah, Merino lamb's wool, so it's very soft. Um, we got her a coat, and we got this at <clears throat> Ocean State Job Lots, which is a place that sells uh, off-season off materials and things. And we got this for her for 20 bucks, and it's normally running 100 so it was a really nice um, deal. It's a nice color, and it's very thick, actually. It's quite, it's, uh, it's, it's quite nice. I mean, it's got a waterproofing, really, but as a, as a layer underneath, say, a shell, it's, a, it's excellent. Uh, we have a few books today. We have How to Survive the um, a Robot Uprising, Death of the Liberal Class by Chris Hedges, Reader's Digest Book of Facts, which is actually going to be given to um, my wife's grandmother because she doesn't have access to the internet, doesn't understand how to use the internet, ha can't actually operate a, um, a radio, a uh, CD player, a DVD player, or a television. So... We're going to give her a book. Hopefully she'll be able to have access to the kind of general information that she's seeking. And Scotch and Toilet Water, a book of dog cartoons that were uh, published originally in the New Yorker. I'm a fan of their art style. I'll read it, my wife will read it, and then we'll pass it on to somebody. Um, this, of course, I will read, and when I'm done, I will probably pass it on. This one I will read, and I'll probably keep because it's just kind of cute. Um, we have DVDs. We have a collection of Tom and Jerry cartoons, some of the classics um, episodes. We have Shadow of the Vampire, which is about the filming of the first true f uh, movie about the Nosferatu. Um, we have The Last Dragon, which is a martial arts film with some comedic elements, which I um, always made me smile. Um, we have Dark Man, which is a flawed horror action movie, um, but still quite entertaining. We have Dragon Slayer, which is a classic. We have Michael J. Fox in The Secret of My Success, which is a film I've actually got a great fondness for. I'm really glad it's in my collection. We have some episodes of Batman's The Brave and The Bold. We have Mark Hamill, Hamill and Bill Paxton in Slipstream, which is a horrible science fiction movie, and I'm glad I own it now. Um, I have the entire animated Fantastic Four series, uh, four, D four DVD set. Uh, and we have uh, Chocolat, which is a movie with Johnny Depp. My wife is a Johnny Depp fan. And we have the Disney's animated version of A Christmas Carol. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of it, but it wasn't bad, and I, I get it for a good price. Um, so that was uh, that's what we have for DVDs. Now, you might be asking, why am I showing off a very simpler, simple tumbler? This is, a, you know, just a, a beer tumbler. What's the big deal? Well, it's a bargain because my wife got it for nothing. Uh, she got it as part of a piece of swag at some event she went to. But the reason I'm showing it off is this. It's called a Silly Pint. S-I-L-I-P-I-N-T. Um, and we're going to buy some of these uh, to add them to our, our drinking uh, glasses and then get rid of a bunch of glass glasses. Because this thing is pure silicone, man. It is just indestructible. Not to mention, it's it's really fun to play with. Um, this is the per this would be perfect for people who have kids, and they come in all kinds of colors. And of course, you can get them with logos and stuff if you if you want to buy a bulk and have them printed up. So it's just a really cool thing, and it just made me smile. Um, this is actually a gift I got for um, for Yule, the Eaton Tool by CRKT ID Works, which is a stainless steel spork, has a bottle opener, some hex wrenches. It's really light and it's designed to be carried with you when you go camping. I'll be putting it into my everyday day bag because I already have a spork in there which is made out of plastic. I will be removing that one and replacing it with this one. Um, we have an action figure and I'm not 100% sure what this is from. He looks vaguely familiar to me um, but I think he was a nice really nice shape. I picked him for two bucks. He didn't come with the club. The club was something I just happened to have lying around. I think the club originally came from some, a, some kind of a troll figure which I no longer have um, but I really like this figure. So Two bucks, and he's you know an anthro character. I'm a sucker for anthro characters. Um, we have a lantern, 
And the lantern has, whoop, let me get it so I can turn it with my one hand. Four, my six rather, and then 19 LEDs. And I got this again for $5. I think I got that at um, Big Lots, if I'm not incorrect. And we have a new clamp. Some of the people who have watched my video about the hammer chucks have already seen this clamp in action. We have two rolls of tape, this one with ghosties on it, and the other one with pumpkins, because my wife is a Christmas, I mean a Halloween fan, and uh, we'll figure we can use that for our projects. And I bought this chicken for my wife. Look at that magnificent chicken. It is just a thing of beauty. It, it just I made me smile when I saw it. She likes chickens, and it's just wonderful. It makes me think of a, of a Viking longboat. You know what I mean? Just awesome. Looks like a magic item. I got it on sale. And it's a, actually got a really nice tone. Um, then we have a sphere I bought because I like the, the, the sensation of it, the feeling of it, the nice heft to it. It's made out of um, marble, um, which I thought was kind of, kind of nice. Then we have a small plate. This is actually made by a woman named Kay Chappelle, Kathy Chappelle. I found out that she is an actual professional um, ceramics artist. I will be using this for soy sauce when I eat sushi. Um, I picked that up for like $5 and it's worth way more than that. I think it's like a $15 or $20 um, piece of uh, ceramic. Um, and we have a plethora of bells along. Now people who watch my Yule video will notice that I got my wife a huge bell for, for um, Yule, and two of these bells I had purchased before that. So this one right here I purchased. And this one is pretty much for me because the, the, the pineapple is a symbol of friendship and it reminds me of uh, the Amish hex symbols that my parents had around their homes and stuff when I grew up because they grew up in Pennsylvania. Um, so that one uh, just kind of made me smile when I saw it. And we have an apple bell, so the apple bell also goes with it. And this one, we bought at the same time. My wife liked the tone. Now these two I've picked up this week. My wife has two bells, which is a small woman who's about half the size of this character. And then she has a large female bell, which is almost twice the size of this one. And this is a couple. And so this one has decent sound, but it was just, just perfect. You know, now we've got a whole family of, uh, of bells. Now this one here, when I purchased it, I got a nice price for it, it was $3. I didn't realize when I bought it, but it didn't have a nut up here. So I took it out to ring it yesterday, and uh, the clapper essentially fell out. Is a rod that goes down the center of this. So the, today I went out and got myself a quarter 20 bra um, brass um, uh, nut. And now, that has such a beautifully clear tone. Um, I would I can say that, you know, I bought this for my wife, but the reality is I, I, I bought it because I like it. Um, then we have some ceramics. We have this small vase. We went to a second-hand shop. And it was unheated second-hand shop. All this commercial, boring, dull dinnerware and one piece of ceramics. So I rescued it. Um, got my wife an owl for 50 cents. She likes owls. Uh, and we have a my snowman is sleeping now. This snowman right here was actually cost 10 bucks. You may be thinking 10 dollars. This is solid wool made by hand and it's worth way more than ten dollars the woman is undervaluing her, her her efforts and it was very cute very christmasy and um i really quite liked it and i like supporting a local artist um then we have an octopus which has really nice eyes and little little jets in the in the back frilled tentacles i like that we have a plate which is got a paw print on the bottom it's a fake paw print but i thought the paw print was kind of interesting we have this bowl which will be both of these will be going into my dinnerware collection um, again, my dinnerware is very odd. Uh, then we have some dice. Now these two dice here always roll sevens. Always, because this one has nothing but fives and this has nothing but twos and sixes. And they come with a set of real dice. I thought that was kind of cute. I got that I got that for a good, a good deal. I have a small hammer. Some people who saw my hammer trucks video have already seen that one. Then we have a letter opener. And I got this letter opener, which I thought was really quite attractive. It's got a dragon on one end, and in a rarity, it's actually sharp. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, then we have a bat to add to my collection, a plant hanger, which I'm going to put on my porch and hang suet off in, this, in the, in the uh, winter time, and then hang off plant food and uh, bird seed in the uh, in the summertime. And then last but not least, we have this star. 
Now, this star is just beautiful. It was originally an architectural star used to hold a tie rod to a building. And I bought it because I, I happen to have a thing for stars because I viewed them as religious symbols. And I was originally planning on putting this on the side of the building, just on, in my porch or something, but it has such a wonderful feeling to it. And I know people are going to think that I'm crazy, but yes, objects actually do have vibes as far as I'm concerned. I am an animist. And this has a wonderful physicality about it. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's just awesome. So these are the finds that I've had over the last couple of weeks and during my vacation. Who knows? There may be more next week. I'm not sure.